Hello, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Pisces placements for the week of October 24th. Can you believe we are at the very end of 2021? Holy moly. Okay, Pisces, for you, I am getting, I don't remember if this was, I told, I told someone this for last week. Something about getting comfortable in their skin. Um, but comfort seems to be, creature comforts seems to be important. Like um, Empress, Empress type. Um, becoming comfortable with who you are. Being comfortable in your skin. And then I keep getting the word arc, arc. And I'm like, you mean arch? And they're like, no, arc like an electricity arc. So the arc, there's, what is this? What is the arc, please? There's going to be a quick change. A quick change. It's a quick change in energy. Arc. It, static electricity, electricity, arc from a sunspot. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? I don't, I'm not sure what that's about. Being comfortable with where you're at, being comfortable in your skin, um, becoming comfortable with everything from the past. Yeah. Asa Michael and strength. Don't allow any missteps to um, hinder your progress. Keep looking back and seeing, see how far you've actually come. I don't think that you are fully appreciating how far you've come. And that's going to help you to be more comfortable with where you're at now. Um, okay, your, your cards are Scar, Scars, Death, Fear, and Nutrition. I think you're going to be having a lot to process um, this week. Some of you, it is um, a shift in your energy. There's a shift in your energy field, Pisces. And it's going to be important that you are comfortable physically, that you keep yourself cool. I have no idea what this is about, okay? Keeping cool head, keeping those around you with a cool head. No arguing, no fighting, okay? Scars and death. How you're seeing yourself is definitely changing. Fear. You have some trepidation about moving forward with something because it's into an area that you are not familiar with. This is new territory, love. Nutrition. This is all about feeding your body, your environment, your mind, your spirit um, properly. Okay. So if we feed this new situation, this new experience, what's it going to lead to? Don't worry about that. All right. If, 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 if I feed into this new energy, if I feed this new way of thinking, as long as you are overcoming your scars from the past, if this is a mental blockage, you have fear about overcoming it because it's going to shift everything so dramatically. Others of you, it is an, a dramatic energy shift, okay? Don't let it startle you. Just breathe through it, okay? Breathe through it. All right. What do we have for uh, Pisces for the week of October 24th, please? All right. Coming out in spades. Ten of Ariel. There's so much to be grateful for. Two of Raphael. Connecting with others. King, or I'm sorry, Knight of Raphael. Committed romantic relationship. Ace of Raphael. Positive new emotional experience and solutions on the end. Um... Pisces, 
if you are open to a new romantic relationship, I see it very good. If you are in a romantic relationship, if you're already committed, then um, I see it going in a very positive direction here, okay? Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to nurture this connection. Mm. Prince of Winter. Princess of Winter. Nine of Autumn. Ten of Summer. You have Ten of Cups twice, love. Don't get caught up in your emotions. If you look at things with truth and kindness you're going to find the solutions success that comes from objective compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy if you're trying to heal a relationship i get that it's going to go very well if you are open to new love um and you're not trying to heal a relationship family or friends then there's a very strong possibility that you have love coming in. And it's going, whatever this is, this healing that is taking place in your relationships, it is definitely going to help you to nurture yourself. Four of air and six of earth. You need to get a shake on. You need to get a move on towards moving towards this. It's been long enough. It's been long enough. Whatever this is. Like if there's a hatchet that needs to be buried, it's been long enough. Two of air. Pretending there is no problem. Six of water with the past. Page of air. Challenging information. Delays. Change to plans. Truth delivered without tact. The star. Happy times. Make positive aptitude. Okay. Pisces, you're in two minds over this. Whatever this is, you're not sure that you could even make it work. You're not seeing how you could make it work. You're stop overthinking. Stop worrying. It's it's time. King of Swords. It is time to get clear. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, about how you want to move forward with this. It is time to cut out all of the hurtful past. It's time to get rid of any harsh words that were said. If this is a relationship world so that you can step through a new portal. All right. If this is an old relationship, you need to stop. Oh, wait, what I just say, if this is a new relationship, you need to stop talking yourself out of anything good card for the week is the two of pentacles okay you have serious doubts and concerns that whatever this is if this is new love old love whatever type of relationship this is you have serious concerns that you can actually make this work don't try and make things look prettier than they are however don't focus on the negative yeah there was a storm behind you there was there was absolutely a storm back there, but you made it to the shore safely. You're not still on the boat, Pisces. You made it. You made it across. All right. You got off that ship before it starts to sink. You are protected. You are protecting yourself. It is time for you to lay down arms. You are no longer at war. I don't know exactly what that means. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. It's time to lay down your arms. You're no longer at war, Pisces. It's time to, to be open to possibilities without the concern of the past. Taking everything in stride and letting the pieces fall where they may. Don't allow tempers. Don't allow fears to get in the way. Understanding that there's two sides to every coin and without one side, you would no longer have a coin. All right. So your advice card from Dreams of Gaia, and then we will pull Sacred Rebels Oracle for you. 
I do go live every Sunday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Free readings after I do all 12 signs. And, oh, Major Arcana. If you're interested in a personal reading, email me. Do you hit that like button? It's greatly appreciated. I just missed it. Okay. So your advice card from the Dreams of Gaia is Father. Fatherhood, leadership, authority, protection, responsibility, guidance, support, compassion, and control. Whatever this relationship is, it's time for you to take control of it, all right? To step forward into it. The center of power within the family unit. A time for decisive action. A source of strength, not fear. What did your father teach you? Step up and take charge. Guide, instruct, and inspire confidence. Be interested and supportive, not critical. The buck stops with you. Fulfill your obligations. Allow others their autonomy. Share all tasks and responsibilities. And step out of the Stone Age. Not doing things the same way. Viewing others as individuals and not having expectations on them, but realizing that they are only capable of what they believe themselves to be capable of. Inspiring. But through your actions and guidance. Number 31. Trust yourself. This is a beautiful card. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Trust yourself. You are wise. You know how to grow even with not, without knowing how you know. Like the ancient forests, spectacular galaxies, and the acorn that becomes the oak, there is a natural intelligence for growth that is beyond logic and reason. It just happens. At the deepest levels, we are governed by this force that is so palpable, it literally shapes the world. At the same time, it is so invisible it is, it is so invisible that sometimes we forget its presence and worry that our minds have to work everything out for life to happen and for us to be all right. We can become unnecessarily anxious about our affairs and how life will unfold. This oracle brings the message that you are growing. You really are. Don't doubt it. Even if you don't see it yet. You're going to have a growth spurt, Pisces. That's what it is. You're going to have a growth spurt. Don't doubt it. Even if you don't see it yet, remember that so much is happening when the seed is still unbroken in the ground. Below the earth, it is summoning up all the might, power, and force it needs to push above the topsoil and burst up into the light. It is essential for anything good to happen later on. Yet we don't see any of that. We have to trust that things will happen when the time is right. We're going to move forward into the healing process, which is not an affirmation, so I'm just going to read it to you. Close your eyes and relax for a moment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Close your eyes and relax for a moment. Breathe in and out. Let your awareness drift away from worries and day-to-day -day matters and settle instead on the feeling of warmth inside your body. Then slowly imagine, sense, feel, or perceive that you have an acorn in your hand. You are standing in nature at sunrise. Wait, you are standing in nature as sunrise breaks flooding the horizon with color and light. As you hold the acorn up to the light of the rising sun, something magical happens. Out of the acorn, a hologram shines forth. It is a blueprint of this entire being that is yet to be. You see an acorn in that hologram, but you also see a marvelous oak tree. You see the wildlife, 
that will support and be supported by that tree, the ecosystem of which it is a part. You see yourself holding the acorn up to the rising sun. You see seasons demarcated as rings of time within the trunk of the tree. You see the passing lives of many people that enjoy the oak tree through its long life. Place the acorn down on the ground as the sun continues to rise. Imagine, if you will, kneeling and touching your forehead lightly to the earth in reverence for the genius of growth. That same genius lives within you. It is your own time. I'm sorry, in your own time, open your eyes and go about your day. You have completed your healing process. Pisces, you're about to go through a wonderful growth spurt. That's what the arc is about. Connect with the earth, connect with those around you, connect with your body, connect to the physical world. Okay, ground yourself, taking charge, not taking charge, taking control of what has happened thus far within yourself, seeing that you are not who you used to be. So the past can never be repeated. Okay. All right, loves. I hope that helps. And I hope to see you soon. You know, I love you. Peace to you. Ciao.